it. How was the Cooper's yard sale? Great. I picked up something for Kim. Oh my God, Jimmy, you didn't. Yeah, I know you've been. I know you've been looking for a new lamp for next to the cows to replace the old lamp. That is the old one. <laughs> Greg's mother gave that ugly thing to us, and I've always hated it. I sold it to the Rivera's down the street at our yard sale, then I saw the Coopers buying it at the Rivera's yard sale. Now I, now I guess it's found its way home. Ah, oh, the mystical circle of crap. Where's Greg? I thought he went with you. Uh, last time I saw him, he was busy haggling over some stuff. How do I look? <laughs> like you just won the worst showcase in the history of The Price is Right. <laughs> My monkey. Okay, and then you take that electrode and you put it in that potato. Hey, check it out. It lit up. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? What are you guys doing? Well, I'm not sure, but I think I'm playing God. <laughs> Check it out, Greg. Light from a vegetable. I haven't seen you this excited about potatoes since you found out au gratin means with cheese. Dad, how does it work? What? How does it work? Uh, oh, well, you know what you do? You, you, you take the black rod, the red rod, and you stick them in a potato each, and then, you know, bulb lights up. Yeah, but why? Well, uh, you know, it's just, uh... <laughs> Magic potatoes. <laughs> and, of course, the transfer of electrons. Uh, exactly. Yeah, the uh, you know, transfer of electrons. What are electrons? Well, they, uh, they're, they're the, the stuff that make this uh, bulb light up. See? I'll show you. Electron. <laughs> Electroff. <laughs> Electrons are little charged particles that are in everything. A potato is something called a conductor. Uh, yes, but not the kind of conductor that drives a train. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> when you put the zinc electrode and the copper electrode into the potato, it helps the electrons move within the wires, creating an electrical current, which then, you know, lights up the bulb. Cool. Thanks, cool, Greg. I'm going to go tell Mom. Good. Hey, uh, thanks for bailing me out there. You know, it's been a long time since I learned this stuff. Well, no problem. I just hope I was thorough enough. I was going to draw him a graph, but Kim always says I draw too many graphs, which just confuses people. <laughs> which I was going to disprove by drawing her a pie chart, showing her how often I did draw graphs. But... <laughs> In retrospect, I guess that's not the best angle. <laughs> you know, I wish I could answer you, Greg. Unfortunately, I just heard a whole lot of blah 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 surrounding the word pie. <laughs> You have to stop. Kim, you won't let me play the bangles in the house. You won't let me play them in the car. But for God's sake, this is an iPod, not a Wii pod. <laughs> I meant the mowing. When are you going to be done? You've been back here for the last hour. Not just mowing. This thing makes all sorts of patterns depending on which direction you're going or, or how you adjust the blade. She's trying to make it beautiful for our family. Well, it looks great. Get off the grass. Get off the grass. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you know how electricity works? Yeah, when electrons move, it creates a current. Damn it, how does everybody know that? <laughs> What's wrong? Well, I was helping Dominic with the science project, and he asked me a bunch of questions I didn't know the answers to, and oh, I'm just I'm afraid he thinks I'm stupid. Jimmy, nobody thinks you're stupid. No, look, no, no, I, I know I'm not stupid. I, I'm just, I'm afraid that Dominic's going to think that I am. It's like he's only in the second grade. I already got trouble helping him with the schoolwork. Maybe you should have paid more attention in school. <laughs> yeah, well, if I remember our science class, the only thing you were interested in weighing and measuring were my boobs. <laughs> Jimmy, if you feel so bad about this, it's never too late to learn this stuff. Mm. 
How much did they weigh? Eight pounds. <laughs> Each? Jimmy, Craig's right. I mean, just because you didn't apply yourself when you were a teenager doesn't mean you can't start applying yourself now. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I will. I don't know. Jimmy. He really seems upset about this. She's... I mean, you learn all this stuff, you never realize you have to remember everything so that one day you can be there to help your kids. Makes you think, huh? Eight pounds, what were you, a doctor? Miss Patterson, I'm Jimmy Hughes. I'm, I'm Dominic's father. He's in your second grade class. You might remember my uh, my wife and I helped chaperone last semester's field trip. Oh, right. Yeah. Wait. Were you the ones who made out in the back row of the planetarium and giggled every time someone said Uranus? <laughs> Uranus. Uh, no, that, that wasn't us. Uh -huh. How can I help you? Well, uh, you know what? I'm having some trouble helping Dominic with uh, science, and I was just wondering if I could borrow a book, you know, brush up a little. Oh, of course. Take one of our textbooks. There's quizzes at the end of each chapter. Oh, thank you so much. This is, this is really, it's going to help a lot, you know. I never really paid attention in school. I was, I was lazy, you know what I mean? I always tried to take the easy way out. Now, do you have a teacher's edition with all the answers in the back? <laughs> Mr. Hughes, give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Teach a man to fish, he'll eat for a lifetime. So you don't have a book with all the answers? Mr. Hughes, do you want to help your son or not? No, I, I, I do, I do. It's just, you know, it's reading it makes me tired. I once dozed off during a fortune cookie. Of course, I just eaten about 17 egg rolls. Look, if you really want to learn this stuff, why don't you come by after school? I'd be more than happy to help you brush up on your science. Oh, really? Well, thanks, but I, I work in the afternoons, but... I do have a lunch hour at 1 o'clock. Fine. Bring your lunch here. You can get a lot done in an hour. Great. Well, then I will see you tomorrow. I'm really, uh, I'm looking forward to learn a little bit more about Mother Earth. Actually, you're touching Uranus. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, Greg. The yard looks great. <laughs> oh, please, Mrs. Tompkins. I don't mow for money. I do it for love. Okay, but my husband will be home in a half hour, so let's make it fast. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Your class isn't over yet. Uh, no, class just started. Take a seat. What? Take a seat. Everyone, this is Mr. Hughes. He's going to sit in on our class. What do we say to new students? Welcome, Mr. Hughes. What's up? <laughs> I thought when you said lunch hour, it would be your lunch hour, too. Mr. Hughes, my lunch hour is only 45 minutes. If it takes me five minutes to walk each way to the cafeteria, seven minutes in line to get my food, and I take 25 minutes to eat my lunch, how long does that leave me to teach you? <laughs> yeah, my math is much better than my science. Just have a seat. Okay. This is my sixth grade science class. We're in the middle of our biology unit. All right. Hey. Yeah. You know the answer was four minutes, didn't you? <laughs> of course I did. I'm not an idiot. It was three. <laughs> Yesterday we covered fertilization and... Yes, Chad? I can't see. Mr. Hughes' head is too big. <laughs> Maybe you two could switch. Hey, 
um, today we're going to continue with the video we started yesterday. Yes, Chad. How come Mr. Hughes gets to eat in class when no one else does? How come Chad doesn't mind his own beeswax? <laughs> Chad, we're going to make a special exception for Mr. Hughes. Okay, then. We left off talking about the birthing process as seen with the arrival of this new baby calf. Hey. Wow, that's a lot of books. Whatever you're about to do, I'm begging you, use your own bathroom. <laughs> I'm taking a science class. I want to be able to help out Dominic so he doesn't think I'm stupid. Well, good for you. That's kind of neat, huh? Both you and Christine going back to college? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> we got there. <laughs> Fun was static. Jimmy, you're not going back to college. You're going back to elementary school. <laughs> I'm in the sixth grade, and a lot of places, that's middle school. Yeah, I think it shows a lot of courage to take sixth grade a second time. Well, I should get a medal, because it's my third. Hey, honey, I thought I'd come and study with you. Oh, really? Hey, uh, like we used to in uh, high school? No. Does this look like a baseball dugout to you? So what are you studying? Ah, the sociological strata in pre-Columbian Aztec civilization. How about you? Our friend the carrot. <laughs> Okay, class, before we begin the quiz, are there any final questions? Mr. Hughes. Uh, yeah, can, can you explain again that, that thing about why a rock sinks but a piece of wood the same weight and floats? Sure. Um, the buoyancy of a substance is determined by its what? <laughs> it's volume. Dude, I'm serious this time. It's volume. Volume? No. <laughs> Chad? Density. Very good. <laughs> Any other questions? Mr. Hughes? Well, yeah, it's, it's the thing about the rock and the wood again. It's like, I, I can understand if they're the same size. But it's like a little pebble like this big, that's going to sink. But, but, but a log that's like a thousand times heavier, that's going to float? Right, but see, you're still thinking in terms of mass instead of density. Even though the mass changes, the density remains the same. Anything else? <laughs> Mr. Hughes. Yeah, um, what? Thank you so much. You did such a lovely job. I did, didn't I? Check it out. I call it the Japanese rising sun. <laughs> it's beautiful. Domo arigato. <laughs> How do you do that? Oh, uh-uh, no, no. No trade secrets. I'll see you next week for something I like to call the cinnamon roll. <laughs> Bye. How are you? I'm ready. Well, another long, hard day of mowing under my belt. <laughs> if I wasn't so hopped up on antihistamines for my hay fever, I'd say it's Miller time. Greg, wipe your feet. What? They're clean. Clean? Christine didn't bring as much grass into the house when she was in high school. <laughs> Hey, honey, how was school? I failed. I failed the sixth grade science quiz. Failed? Yep, everyone else floated like a log and I sank like a pebble. I mean, maybe you were nervous. I mean, it's been a long time since you've taken a test. I'm sure you'll do better next time. I can't do better. Hey, you saw how hard I studied, I still failed. Yeah, Dominic should think I'm stupid because I am stupid. Jimmy, you're not stupid. I mean, there has to be another explanation for all this. You do spend a lot of time with your face pressed up against the microwave. No, 
I mean, maybe you have a learning disability, you know, like attention deficit disorder. Oh, please, ADD, or as my father used to call it, ants in your pants. Jimmy, these are real problems people have. Yeah, and they didn't check for things like that when we were kids. I mean, you might have something and not even know it. You think? Yeah, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Now, everybody's born with things they struggle with. Greg's colorblind. That's true. Up to the age of seven, I couldn't figure out why I had a box of 64 gray crayons. <laughs> craziest thing, but I've never been able to say the word aluminum. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have to go call my mom. Jimmy, I, I think you should get tested. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I will. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be great to know that there's a reason why school's always been so hard for you? Oh, it would explain a lot. Like how you could never remember plays on the football team, or how you always write down phone numbers wrong, or... I always get lost in Costco. I wasn't lost. I, I was just circling until that woman finished cooking those mini quiches. Hello, Mom. Listen to this. Alunamum. Wait, wait, wait. Alunamum. I know I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> How'd the test go? I think it did pretty well, but uh, what's with all those ink blots? You know, every one of those pictures is so obviously a vagina. <laughs> Mr. Hughes? Yeah. I've got your results. Ah, oh, great. Is it uh, ADD? No. ADHD? No. Dyslexia? No. Ants in my pants? <laughs> no, all of your test scores fall well within the normal parameters. You're kidding me. No, there's nothing wrong with you at all. Congratulations. I can't believe it. The first test I ever ace is the one that proves I'm an idiot. Daddy, can you help me with my homework? <sighs> I doubt it. What? You know what, uh, Dominic, why don't, you, why don't you go ask uh, Uncle Greg if he can help you? Why can't you help me? Uh, well, because today we found out that, uh, your dad is, you know, I, I, I just, I promised Uncle Greg I was going to fix his lawnmower, so. What's wrong with it? Um, well, uh, he shorted out the engine, he got a little dizzy doing the cinnamon roll, <laughs> and he drove it straight into a koi pond. You know how to fix that? Yeah, it's no big deal. What's that? That right there is the uh, distributor cap. I had to replace that. And then I got to rerun the wires from there to the spark plugs. And then I had to splice the ignition wire. That's all torn up. And I have to reconnect the fuel line from there. What's that orange piece? That is a piece of brave fish who died defending his pond. <laughs> how do you know how to do all that? I don't know. Just, uh... Fixing things always came easy to me. Can Uncle Greg do it? <laughs> no, Uncle Greg is not a fixing stuff kind of guy, you know? Don't you remember he had to jump his car battery and he was declared legally dead for three minutes? <laughs> wow, you must be really smart. You think so? Yeah, can you teach me how to fix stuff? Of course I can. Here, grab a wrench. I show you how to change a spark plug. Oh, thank God somebody's home. Listen to this. Aluminum. <laughs> Damn it! Hey, you the guy's been mowing everyone's lawn? Yeah, been mowing them all except the one with the koi pond. There's some litigation pending there. Listen, mister, maybe you weren't aware, but this is our block. We mow the lawns around here. Yeah, almost every line you mow cost us 15 bucks. $15? <laughs> Sounds like someone's priced themselves out of the market. <laughs> maybe you understand what my friend here is saying. This is our turf. What are you, threatening me? Just a little neighborly advice. I'm not gonna be intimidated by you little thugs. I'll mow whatever I want. Why don't you sleep on it? 
Maybe you'll think more clearly in the morning. 